everyone today i'm sharing with you five hacks on to how to look stylish for fall and winter if you want to know more definitely keep on watching because it's gonna be fun as usual uh. <laughs> whenever you are gone i just wanna be with you please don't get oh, hello everybody welcome back to my channel salut les amis bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne hola bienvenue dans la mi canal konnichiwa what is your channel ni yokoso today I wanted to go to the work situation here. We all are not super motivated when it comes to dressing up or looking stylish because let's be honest, it's difficult and we're trying to survive here. And if you are like me, living in Canada, Montreal, Quebec side, oh Lord, the snow, the snow, the snow, the cold 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 i can't keep talking about people telling me i don't care i just want to be covered the thing is during winter or any type of cooler season like that especially here is that you tend to be a little bit more down because of the temperature weather situation it doesn't help you to kind of feel better you don't have that motivation to dress up even more right one of my philosophy is fake it until you make it and that works even during winter when you want to dress up so keep your heels in and your boots up what i mean by it is that if you live in a country such as Canada where it's like deadly, deadly, deadly cold and you don't have a lot of options when it comes to boots we're talking about snow boots, the real big original looking snow boots I'm gonna put a picture here um, they're really ugly for me you want to get yourself a couple of pairs of heels at the office when I say a couple of pairs I'm not saying the whole collection here I would say two maxima it's one towards the gold accent goes really really well with any burgundy brown mustard you know that full type of shades they're really good when it comes to it so if in winter you want to keep wearing the same type of shades and you want to keep it warm when it comes to the tone and the color part of it combine it with anything gold it's the easiest simplest way to do it highly suggested to go towards anything natural so we're talking about black white gray or the blush pink because blush pink for me is a really interesting tone when it comes to anything natural it's warm but not too much so it's the perfect balance if you want to keep anything natural but add something warmer but you don't want to overdo it these are the kind of pair of heels that i would highly suggest you to have at the office going further than that is based on your personal style we all have our favorite ways of styling stuff some women love accessorizing if you're one of them you love accessorizing because it's probably the best way for you to add something interesting especially during winter because you want to keep everything else neutral it's a great way for you when it comes to choosing the heels you're gonna wear at the office the most to maybe go towards something much more statement-ish interesting prints or a nice pop of color thing extra but not uh, overwhelming to your outfits if anything else is neutral but the accessories these ones i bought them at zara i think it was last year we have a couple of colors here a couple of shades so all you gotta do is to choose one of these colors and to pick a pair of uh, top jeans or anything like that you can choose whichever shade or whichever color you want to have on your whole outfit don't try to go with too many statement uh, pieces you might look like a christmas tree and you don't want that keep it to one or two maximum keep in mind that you want to bring something statement ish if you have anything else neutral so if you like me when you love combining different type of pieces and they could be really 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 over the top then i would say stick to a couple of uh, heels that would be much more in the neutral you want pop of color a brown pair of heels or a black pair of pumps or something white this is a pair of shoes from zara red because they have a nice 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 modern shape they're cute they're not super high and they actually are my favorites because of their height i wear sneakers so much when i walk around take the bus or anything like that everyday type of heels for you it's to layer the smart way i'm gonna do a proper video on to how to layer the best way possible for fall and winter later on during 
month just stay tuned for that learning the smart way is not having to add up way too much for breaks and to keep it bulky you don't have a shape you don't have a structure you're gonna hit yourself in front of the mirror you want to feel confident when you feel confident then you have the motivation to even go and literally fight against the freaking cold outside especially here you want to be able to love and adore yourself to be able to choose pieces that are gonna be able to flatter your body the best way possible to keep looking for either natural fabric with a wool it could be an investment if you don't have the money for it no brand called uniqlo and i've heard about this brand for a while uh, has a range it's called heat egg they are able to combine fibers of fabrics in a way where they kind of keep your body warmth they insulate you in a really nice way a new technology a new innovation i'm gonna put the website down below the colors I'm diving, loving colors. Usually during winter, we don't feel like wearing anything too colorful because of the mindset. Where's the winter? You're the beginning of it. You're responsible for your mindset. Not the temperature, not the cold, not anything around you. If you want to feel better, it's a matter of choosing to feel better by tricking yourself in original ways and colors for me have a great way of doing so imagine yourself when you see the sun how do you feel don't you feel a little bit more motivated up and high when it comes to the mood when it comes to energy you're gonna feel a lot better the same effect you're gonna have it for colors colors have a way to make yourself feel better like nobody else if you are afraid of color i would always suggest to start with accessories they're the best and simplest way to incorporate it into your wardrobe little by little until you get used to it i used to be got it back then so let me tell you it was all process here believe me when i say that colors they have a way to affect you in the best way possible especially when it's cold especially when it's cloudy and especially when it's freaking gray outside not my thing i hate that it's to up for cream or anything creamy beige creams chic the best way possible bring something interesting when it comes to the color when it comes to the looks when it comes to, when it comes to a lot of things even if you have something black you can still combine it with something cream if you have something burgundy you can still combine it with something cream if you have something blush pink you can still combine it with something cream definitely recommend it definitely highly recommend it now when it comes to looking stylish at work is to keep a blazer in <laughs> blazers you know my love for blazers i think at this point i don't even need to say it no more because they have a great way to bring a structure to your outfit love the most about blazer is that you have a range of blazer style it doesn't have to be the classic black blazer that we all know it could be something a little bit more twisted a little bit more edgy a little bit more colorful it's really up to you to inject and choose the one that's gonna go the best with most of your outfits learn more about your personal style this one is probably one of my favorite it's a little bit structured around the shoulders which i love a lot and the tone here i love the whole shape about it i bought it in germany a couple of years back when it comes to blazers you don't have to buy a ton of them but more genuine with your personal style it becomes easy to pick and choose pieces that are really truly gonna speak to you you can wear them if you have a special presentation and you want to look a little bit more dressed up a little bit more propped up a little bit more serious to keep at the office because you don't have to wear that every day but you can wear that if you need to i hope it was useful for you i hope you liked it let me know what was your best hacks what you liked the most about it and let me know what is your way to kind of look stylish at work if you like this video you're gonna love the next video and it's gonna be everything about layering for winter there's gonna be a couple of interesting facts in that i'm just saying subscribe to my channel i have my two last videos here to be able to see any type of inspiration that you love that you're gonna like for the time being i'm gonna see you for my next video and i'm gonna wish you a great week like i say all the time smile because it's free and contagious bye